Steve from Custom Table Tennis and we just thought we'd have a look at the um, Vega series of rubbers because we've had just one or two phone calls and, and, and people have been a little bit confused by it. So what we thought we'd do, well, the, the phone call, I may, I may as well tell you, the phone call usually is, oh, I've spoke to my coach and he says, I want a Vega rubber. And we say, yeah, that, that, fine, which one? Oh, I don't know, he just says Vega. So the Axiom Vega, we've got 10 out of the 14. Um, some of the others are discontinued or very difficult to get hold of, but there's actually 10 different rubbers. But before we start, if you're not quite ready for a Vega rubber, um, you probably want the Musa, which it doesn't have the tensor effect. So it's very spinny, very grippy, very durable. We've got players in the local league still using this rubber. Um, if you don't want the rebound effect and the, the tensor effect, which is available from these these rubbers. This is comparable to like your Mark V and your Schreiber. So we thought we'd just put that one in first because not everybody's ready. And then what it does, it explains better um, what the intro is. So if that doesn't have any tuned effect whatsoever or any tense effect, the intro is, it's half tuned. So it's got half the effect. So if I pull that one out of the way and pull that one in this has got half of the tuned effect of this one because it's half tuned so it's got half the effect so if you're not quite if not quite ready you've got your Musa then you've got your step up which is your intro and then we're on to the full-blown tensor rubbers we're doing them in degrees of hardness not necessarily when they came out so this is one of the more recent ones. This is the 37.5. It's the plastic ball ready. It's got all your information on there. Very, very popular rubber. It was the 50th rubber that, that they brought out. You've got your made in Germany, Hyperelasto, Bios Tensor. Great, great rubber. Nice and light. If you're wanting a light bat and you, you want something with feel and control on a tensor rubber, this is probably where you need to start. So Europe DF, um, I think that was number number two or number three on our best-selling list for 2023. The Elite, Vega Elite. Um, it's one of the older generation rubbers, but it's very, very popular. It's got the Lifetime Plus, so it lasts, generally lasts longer. These rubbers, by the way, made in Germany, do last a little bit more longer than your Japanese rubbers. So they're going to last longer than your... Yeah, such as your tenages and your strive and your things. It's just the nature of the, the characteristic of the rubber. And I think technology is more up to date with these. Um, yeah. so, so it's the only one that's available in the cream sponge, as you can see through there. Um, of course, if you need to read the back of the packet, you can pause it any time you like. But as you can see by the number, it's one of the very, very early rubbers. So this is the 40 degree. Now, what I'll do with this one, because there's a little bit of confusion with this one, and people have rung me up in the past and said, "Oh, you've sent me a wrong, you've sent me the wrong rubber. You've sent me a Europe, and and I wanted the Europe DF, and they've actually ordered it wrong online, or somebody's told them to get the Vega Europe. This is the original Vega Europe. It doesn't say anything about DF. It's the Lifetime Plus. This was one of the very very early ones. Look, this came." that's not the year but it was a very very early one so this was the eighth rubber that they brought out very very popular and it's sort of 42.5 so if i bring the other one in have a look at the packets together so they're very very different and we've seen it on various other sites and they're not too clear about it if you want your plastic ball ready df it's got the df it's also got the df after the after the Europe on the on the face of the rubber and you've got your dynamic friction on this one you don't have your dynamic friction on the old Europe although people still do like this one and buy it if you just flip down the back of the packet you can see the difference there's been literally been 42 rubbers difference between the original Europe and the Europe DF not all not obviously all Europe's but 42 different rubbers from there to there so don't confuse them um, if you're not sure have a look at the number which is there 08 against 050 
so pulling those out of the way then we're moving on to another 42.5 but this is the latest generation again this is the asia df it's plastic ball ready it's got all your technology it's actually five degrees harder so it's going to be a little bit heavier although it's not getting to something really really heavy it's quite popular because it's the dynamic friction as you can see it came out the same time the other one's 050 this is 051 made in germany obviously got all your technology going on there and then for some strange reason we don't know why um this wind fit technology uh, i mean we can't really see the point this is a 45 degree and actually um that is the shape of the rubber we don't know why this one's different it had a little bit of a run when it came out but it's not that popular and it's quite heavy we noticed for whatever reason this is quite a heavy rubber it's been around a while you can tell by the number not too popular but it's there if you want it another one that's not quite taken off is the vega tour it's another heavy rubber another 45 degree we don't really see why there needs to be so many rubbers with different degrees yeah it's to do with the pimple structure underneath and, it, and different technology going on um but this one just not a big seller gotta be honest um but you can see it's quite a quite a new one because it's the 060 so moving along then to another 45 and this one's gone absolutely manic uh, it's got the new it's got the hyper elasto imb internal mechanical boost it's got a different sponge and it's only available in the max because what they did they tried it in two and and maybe 2.1 um, and it just didn't work right so they're actually only bringing it out in the max uh, it's available in the blue so everybody we keep running out the blue we're back in stock now fantastic rubber people have tried this well i've got one particular guy it doesn't really help us keep in stock of the others he says well it kind of makes the rest of the vega series redundant because this is the spinniest it's not the fastest i'm going to come to that in a moment but if spin is what you need and then you're bored of the red here's you are with the blue we'll let you have a look at the back of the packet fantastic rubber and we've um we're the, we're the uk distributor for this rubber so we've managed to keep the price down we buy large quantities to pass the discounts on to you we've seen this selling selling at silly silly money around the world but we've got this at a very very good price for you fantastic rubber we've done separate reviews of this we've got it on video for just the actual rubber itself out the packet we've got it on bats um we think this is going to be our best seller for 2024 the way sales are going on that one so moving on then we've got the ever faithful um vega pro one of the first rubbers that they brought out that really hit the world market it's got the times two um it, it has all the grip that you need it's got the hyper elasto and the temper tensor bios got everything going on in there on the, the other side um but as you can see it's the 12th rubber that they brought out so it's really when they hit the world market and this is comparable to Tenergy and players just buy it. They, they just keep buying it. It's a very, very durable, depend, dependable rubber. Similar char characteristics to your uh, Tenergy 05 and your Nitaku G1, but this is a great, great rubber. And then finally, they brought out the, uh, the Vega 10, which is the 10th anniversary model of the Vega Pro so this has been around about two or three years now it's a love hate if i bring that one back in again right so some players try it who've used the vega pro they think oh yes it's an improvement it's got all ever so slightly bit more tack on this one a little bit more grip on this one um it's got the same sponge but it's a different pimple configuration so players either love it or they go back to the pro but we can't make that decision for you so we'll have a look at the back of the packet of that one our final rubber very very popular um but we know for at the moment it's going to be all about this one here on the first day um we we, we, we ran out on the first day we un, we under ordered because it was new but we didn't realize it being out since june 
um, overseas, and it was um, we, we found about in found out in September, and people have been asking for it, and this is going out every day on bats. Brilliant, brilliant rubber, very, very grippy, and it's got the new, as I'd said, the IMB sponge internal mechanical boost. Very spinny rubber, nice rubber. So we just thought we'd con bring you um, these rubbers just to stop the confusion when people ring up, and it's just happened a couple of times in the last few weeks. Oh, I, need, I want a Vega rubber. My coach has said I need an Axiom Vega. And then we then we go through the process of trying to find out which one. So there you go. Quick review of the Axiom Vega series rubbers. If you want more videos, hit the like and subscribe. Steve from Custom Table Tennis. Bye for now.